Imagine turning a rough sketch into a lifelike 3D model with just a few clicks. If it sounds interesting, stick around because in this video, we're talking about FlexiCubes, the genius tool from NVIDIA that's making this magic possible. From the glitzy world of Hollywood to the dynamic realms of video gaming, this innovation is taking center stage. Now, to explain what are FlexiCubes and why are they so special, we need to look at 3D mesh generation and its significance. A 3D mesh is a group of points, lines, and surfaces that describe an object's shape in 3D space. Imagine it as a 3D model made of wire that you can change and view in various styles. They have many uses, including in video games, movies, virtual reality, augmented reality, medical imaging, and more. However, not all 3D meshes are of the same quality. How good a mesh is depends on things like the number of points and surfaces, how smooth and accurate it looks, whether it has gaps or breaks, and how well it matches the original data. A top-notch mesh has few components, but still shows all the tiny details of the original object or design. On the other hand, a poor quality mesh might have too many or too few components, or might not show the object or design properly. Mesh quality is vital because it influences how real and natural a 3D model appears. A high quality mesh looks more lifelike compared to one of lower quality. Additionally, the quality affects how well it's processed in the 3D pipeline, with high quality meshes being processed faster and with less hassle. Furthermore, for applications like physics simulations, Mesh quality is essential. High quality meshes provide more realistic interactions with other objects or forces, whereas low quality ones can cause errors. To create high quality meshes, there are various methods and algorithms. One popular method is the marching cubes technique. It uses a specific function, noted as f times xyz equals zero, to produce a mesh of its ISO surface, the surface where f times xyz equals zero. For example, for a function representing a sphere, marching cubes can create a mesh resembling the sphere's surface. Marching cubes divide space into a grid of cubes and checks each for intersections with the ISO surface. Depending on the cube's vertices being inside or outside, the shape defined by the function, it selects triangles to fill the cube. Doing this for every cube gives a mesh covering the entire ISO surface. Though simple and effective, Marching Cubes has its drawbacks. It creates angular, jagged meshes because it sets triangle vertices at fixed cube edge positions, not where the real ISO surface intersection is. This reduces mesh accuracy and smoothness. Another issue is that its meshes can have unclear and inconsistent structures. Marching Cubes uses a table that links vertex combinations to triangle patterns, but some combinations can match different patterns. Marching Cubes picks a pattern without considering the overall mesh or neighboring cubes. Due to these issues, Marching Cubes isn't the best for detailed, complex shapes or optimization-focused AI that refines meshes. Now, this is where FlexiCubes comes in. It's a new method for creating meshes. It improves on previous techniques and produces high-quality meshes using processes like photogrammetry and generative AI. This means that with FlexiCubes, the meshes you get are of better quality and represent intricate details in complicated shapes more accurately. So how does FlexiCubes work? Well, the main idea behind it is to introduce additional parameters into the mesh representation that allow for local and flexible adjustments to the mesh geometry and connectivity. These parameters are updated along with the underlying scalar field during the optimization process using automatic differentiation to compute the gradients. By doing this, FlexiCubes can fine-tune the mesh to fit the surface features and find a high-quality mesh with a small number of elements. The concept is based on the dual marching cubes algorithm, which is an extension of the original marching cubes algorithm that improves its topological properties. Dual marching cubes places the vertices of the triangles at the centers of the cubes instead of along the edges and connects them with edges that cross the faces of the cubes. This way, dual marching cubes avoid some of the ambiguities and inconsistencies that plague marching cubes. FlexiCubes extends dual marching cubes by adding two types of parameters, vertex offsets and edge flips. Vertex offsets are vectors that shift the positions of the vertices from their fixed locations at the centers of the cubes. Edge flips are binary variables that indicate whether an edge should be flipped or not. By applying these parameters to each cube in the grid, FlexiCubes can modify the shape and orientation of the triangles 
to better match the ISO surface. This approach also offers some additional features that enhance its capabilities and applications. One of them is tetrahedral mesh generation, which means that it can produce meshes that consist of tetrahedra, four-sided polyhedra, instead of triangles. Tetrahedral meshes are useful for physics simulation, as they can represent the volume and density of an object more accurately than triangular meshes. Another feature is hierarchical mesh adaptation, which means that FlexiCubes can produce meshes that have different levels of resolution depending on the complexity of the shape. Hierarchical meshes are useful for reducing computational cost and memory usage, as they can focus on areas that require more detail and ignore areas that are less important. FlexiCubes is an innovative tool that offers better mesh generation than previous methods. It can work with any implicit function, even if they're not smooth. The meshes it creates are smooth, precise, and need fewer elements while maintaining high accuracy. It's also great for physics simulations because it creates tetrahedral meshes that are ready for immediate use. Plus, it fits well with AI optimization processes adjusting its settings through automatic differentiation. But FlexiCubes isn't just about technical performance. It's also a handy tool for artists and designers. With it, they can easily create and edit 3D models. They can use text or pictures to come up with custom textures like fabric, wood, or stone. They can modify existing 3D models by changing their shape or color. And they can even merge different 3D models to make unique ones, like combining animals or vehicles. In essence, FlexiCubes is reshaping the world of 3D mesh generation and AI. It's paving the way for creating more realistic 3D models for a range of uses. It also highlights NVIDIA's commitment and excellence in computer graphics and AI research. If you want to learn more about FlexiCubes and see it in action, you should check out NVIDIA's research paper and demo video that they presented at SIGGRAPH 2023 in Los Angeles. SIGGRAPH is actually one of the most prestigious events in computer graphics and interactive techniques where researchers and professionals from all over the world gather to showcase their latest work and discoveries. NVIDIA's FlexiCubes was one of the highlights of this year's event, winning the Best in Show Award at SIGGRAPH's real-time live event. I'll leave a link to NVIDIA's paper in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. They're really amazing and mind-blowing. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found it informative and interesting. If you did, please like this video and share in the comments your views on FlexiCubes and how you plan to use them in your projects. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I have a lot more cool stuff to share with you in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.